Now we continue. Again, there are two kinds of hypotheses, the null and the alternative. The null says it's equal. The alternative states it's not equal, or it's greater than, or it's less than. Again, the null says there's no difference. The alternative says there is a difference. That's why it's not equal. For example, the average TV viewing time of, of all five-year-old children is four hours daily. What is our null? Yes, that is already the null hypothesis. The average TV viewing time of all five-year-old children is four hours daily. What is the alternative hypothesis? Same statement, but is not equal to four hours daily. Number two, a college librarian claims that 20 story books on the average are borrowed daily. That is the null hypothesis. It means that the number of borrowed story books daily is equal to 20. What is alternative? We say the, no the average number of story books borrowed daily is not equal to 20. Third, the mean performance of all grade 6 levers of a school in the net is 35. That is the null. What is the alternative? We say is not equal to 35. Let's try another one. The owner of a factory that sells a particular bottle of fruit juice claims that the average capacity of a bottle of their product is 250 ml. What is the null hypothesis? By the way, the symbol for the null hypothesis is H sub 0, or some would call it H sub O, while the symbol for the alternative hypothesis is H sub 1. We go back to the problem. What is the null hypothesis? We say the bottled fruit juice, the capacity of a bottle of fruit juice is equal to 250 ml. What is alternative hypothesis? We say that the capacity of a bottle of fruit juice is not equal to 250 ml. But here's a question. Is a null always equal to a number? Yes. But is the alternative always not equal to? Could it be greater than or less than? Yes, it may be. For example, here. A teacher wants to know if listening to a popular music increases the performance of pupils. A class of 50 grade 1 pupils was used in the experiment. The mean score was 83, and the standard deviation is 5. A previous study revealed that the mean is 82, and the standard deviation is 10. You go back to the previous study. What is the established mean score? It's 82. What is the topic all about? The mean score of grade 1 pupils after listening to popular music. So, we start with a null hypothesis. We equate it to a previous study, to an established score, or we say to a parameter, to a population mean. So, our null hypothesis is the mean score of grade pupils after listening to a popular music is equal to 82. How about the alternative hypothesis? You see the red one? Our claim is listening to a popular music increases the performance. So our alternative hypothesis will be the mean score of grade 1 pupils after listening to a popular music is greater than 82. But what if it increases? 
But if it also tells, it's, it just affects. Then, we state alternative as not equal to 82. This ends our discussion on writing null and alternative hypothesis. I'll see you again in the next video.